So my first question is, as a huge fan of Led Zeppelin myself, did you feel some pressure on working on such a legend? I mean, that's Led Zeppelin, no? it's hot stuff. Yes, I did. Um, I, I, I wrote the film. When I had the idea for doing the film with Alison and my editor, Dan Gibbon, yep. um, we actually made, made a script for the film. I listened to every single recorded interview with them and I created a script. And then from that I made a storyboard, like a feature film with pictures of every single scene, how I'd tell the film, to work out in my head if it would work. And then when I went to see, I got a meeting with Jimmy Page and it turned out he was a big fan of American Epic. Oh, that and makes so sense. I presented the film through and I, I wanted to make a film about music, about Led Zeppelin's music and how, how it became what it was. And we, he started looking through the storyboard and he spent seven hours looking through <laughs> it with me. And at the end of that, he said, I'd, I'd love you to make the film. You go ahead, it's your film, you make it. Like this, and I felt like he was handing me yeah. Excalibur and saying, <laughs> here it is, take care of it. And he didn't try to control it in any way. Oh. What was the most difficult part of the, of the movie? Um, the most difficult part was, um, was finding the interview with John Bonham, or the two interviews we used. Uh -huh. Because nobody, no, well, no, virtually no fans have ever heard him speak. He, didn't, he, did, he avoided doing interviews. And when the band were interviewed, he would generally say nothing if he was in the room. Um, so, uh, but I wanted him to have an equal voice in the film. And normally Robert has to talk for John. Okay. And I didn't want that to happen, so I, I had to tra I tracked down two interviews of him uh, that, that, uh, that were on high quality tape that was incredibly hard finding them. I had to get, have someone look through thousands of reels of tape wow. in the hope that this was in this, in, in this interview. It was like a finding the, the, lost, the lost arc. Yeah, I just had this belief though, this belief that if we were, if we were meant to make this film, we would find what we needed. <laughs> Did you find an explanation yourself about the, the secrets of the music of Led Zeppelin. I mean, 50 years later, we are still talking about Led Zeppelin. Yes, I, I, th I think I discovered some, and I, I hope we've shared the, some of the secrets I discovered in the film. Yeah. Um, as I see it, working on the film and spending time with them, uh, it's two things combined that make Led Zeppelin. There are two people in the, in the group that were professional, trained, working session musicians that were playing on all these records, like the ones you see in the film, Goldfinger, yeah. um, the, I can't explain by the who, you know, uh, uh, Van Morrison's Them, Downtown, Mellow Yellow, all these various records. Um, I, I think Jimmy and, and Jonesy were both on um, uh, uh, um, other Donovan tracks. Um, and then you have these two guys from the Midlands, which is, you know, a few hundred miles north of London. Yeah. And like all capital cities, they keep other people out of the <laughs> business. So they're having to struggle. And when the band comes together, you've got these two trained musicians that are real experts, and these other guys that it's all from here, you know, from the heart, yeah. raw. And so that combination of these guys that really know what they're doing uh, and, and have played with all different types of music. As Jimmy says, even Muzak, he was doing mu elevator music sessions, you know? That's a lot of the work. They're so experienced. Then you've got these other guys that have this raw passion and they don't have that kind of training. And you wow. put the two together. And what was smart was that the gr group collectively realized this would work. And they, and they worked totally as a music group. Most other bands, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Beach Boys, they're friends and family before they form the group. And they all know each other and they build up a relationship. And it's a few years before they actually make a record. Okay. Led Zeppelin, the relationship is totally musical. My last question, very short. Your favorite album for Led Zeppelin? My favorite album? Yeah. Probably the first album. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Probably it's the first album. Not the four, not Zozo, the first. I love that too. <laughs> I like the first one because of what it represents. Yeah. You know? It represents the beginning of everything, you know? Absolutely. The beginning yeah, of the journey. I love the fourth album a great deal. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my, the first one I bought as a, <laughs> as a kid. 
Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And congratulations Thanks, again. Thanks,